All right, guys. So now we're on to the British tree of release. Let's go on to the patch notes to see what what's new with the German side or the uh, British side. Uh, looks like we have a new uh, British fighter to the Venom, a bomber, the Canberra, and a Lancaster Mark One. Probably one of the biggest bomb loads in the game right now. Um, now, I, now let let me just check the uh, Lancaster Mark Two or Mark Three to see if I'm not just derping myself. Oh, okay, yeah. I got a little ahead of myself. I, I, I never realized that the Lancaster had that bomb load. But, you know, all, all I need to do is add that freaking Grand Slam and I'll be the happiest little camper alive. Alright, so next up we'll check out the, the Canberra. I'm not going to fly this one out because we flew it out pretty much um, in the U.S. side. Uh, but we'll definitely check it out see if any other kind of different uh, loadouts it has on it. Wow. Well. Beautiful camo though, I love that camo for it. So A and M64, 500 pound bomb. So it has, so the default load's small. It can go up to 61,000 pound bombs as um, the Americans or a two 1,000 pound and one 4,000 pound bomb. Let me just make sure the US one does not have that one on it in case I missed it. No, wow, the uh, the British one has a hard hit and payload, get in and get out kind of thing. I I, I actually might take this out to see how the uh, four thousand pound bomb looks uh, coming out of the aircraft. Let's roll, baby. <laughs> almost smacked my tail on takeoff. That would not have been good. As you guys see, it has a little skid in the back when, when, when that does happen. That's pretty cool. A uh, uh, little detail they added. Here we go. There it goes. Yeah. <laughs> it's can Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. It's just, just a barrel. And then the two 100 pounders. Great bomb load. That's going to be epic to use. And now for the Venom, which is one of my most anticipated jets to be added to War Thunder. This was in my release tree video I made a couple, uh, or actually a month ago. Wow, that is sick looking. And we'll just we'll just put the uh, Vampire here just so you guys can see the difference. Now they're going to be adding the whole Royal Navy side, so we'll have. Um, the Sea Venom, which has, has a dirtier cockpit than the uh, Venom. And that was uh, designed for um, sea ejection. So if, the sea, or, so if the vehicle is submerged in the water, the pilot can eject out of the water and stuff. <laughs> hey, Fonic, thanks for the donation, man. I appreciate it. I'm glad you joined the stream, dudes. Um, yeah, so uh, it was designed to be ejected out of the water. Um, so here's the Vampire. And the Venom. It looks like a very similar aircraft. I'm trying to see the difference. Um, looks like a little smaller cockpit, smaller plane overall, just how the camera moves. Um, but I don't know if that's just like... Yeah, I don't know if that's just like a little thing they do with the grat or like just switching planes. Um, looks like a more sleeker fuselage. L little bit thinner, a little bit thinner fuselage. And we have these uh, um, pylons on the end of the wings. Some of those are fuel. And looks like we have little uh, sl uh, slots on the wing or slits to allow the air to go over the wing correctly at high air high air speeds. Okay, so we're gonna take this one out. Actually, upgrade it fully because I want to see what this plane can do. Now it should be able to turn like the Vampire to an extent, as well as ha have a pretty much more uh, higher top speed than the vampire because the vampire does not have venom venom is more dangerous than vampires now what I'll judge by this instantly is it has a pretty decent bomb or armament load that's actually a very nice armament load eight rockets and uh, 1,000 pounds of bombs god those those British rockets are just so huge
Play with friends. No, I don't have any friends. Here we go. Test flight. Yeah, guys, stick around in the stream. Uh, we'll be playing some custom battles if we have time. I, I really, I'm really trying to get there. Oh my god, my voice is cutting out. Hang on. I apologize. I'm talking a lot. So, so here is the Venom. Beautiful aircraft cockpit. Looks kind of the same as the Vampire. Still very nice, though. I love these kind of cockpits. Um, but not, not for simulator battle mode. It's like too much stuff going on for me. But, I mean, I'm sure if I train to use it, it won't be too bad. Um, should we have 420 mils? Easy there, cowgirl. We almost got tipped over right there. Um, we'll go ahead and roll. Look at those flaps. Look at those landing flaps. Okay, we're on takeoff right now. I don't want to get reset because the timer's starting to tick down right now. Beautiful aircraft, guys. I love this plane. Already. Good, good, uh, good thrust on takeoff. And we should be in the air right now. Nice. Good takeoff. This plane's gonna be much better than the Vampire. Gear up, positive rate. Flaps raised. So we're gonna uh, put this into about 20 degree climb, see how it does once we build some speed onto the runway. <laughs> Looks so sick. All right, here we go. And we see a little antenna right there. Details. War Thunder always gets their details right in their uh, models and stuff. I mean, some, I mean, some, some of them are incorrect, but just like the attention to detail is marvelous. Climb rate is very nice right now. I'm happy with this. British carrier down there. Is that a Colossalus or whatever we'll call it? Or Ark Royal? I need I need to touch up on my British Navy. Um, I lost a lot of it. I, I used to know almost every, you know, not, not every ship, but every class of ship and every uh, major um, country in World War II. I was so proud of myself when I was like 14. Starting start to slow down right now. I was hoping to keep that 460 kilometer climb. But still, we're already at 3,000 meters. Um, we're, we're nowhere near the engagement zone if we were in a battle right now. Maybe maybe on Korea we, we, we would be a little bit closer. We might climb off away from the combat zone. Air brakes. Nice. See, see where the air brakes come out? I, it kind of feels like the vampire, and, and I and I don't know if the test server has a lot of placeholder flight models on here. Um, the speed is definitely increased from the vampire, I believe, uh, but it kind of feels like the same flight model right now in the sense of the way it maneuvers. That's just because I haven't really, uh, you know, that's what, take it with a grain of slot, uh, salt because I haven't really taken out the vampire too much recently. Turning is. Turning feels a little bit worse than the vampire, actually. Oh, we're going to do a little bit of a high speed or t high speed turn. Overall, right now, I'm th th this plane is much better than the vampire. The way it climbs and um, the speed of it right now. Okay, here we go. 800 kilometer, or 750 kilometer full full G turn. Comet flaps. Wow. Combat flaps. This thing turns like a beast. Look at that. Look at that nose getting on target. Yep. 
So for my for my little small test flight, uh, this plane will be a support plane um, with the high tiers, just like the Vampire is. You know, um, not not a uh, not to break the like you know the air combat, not to get first in the air combat, but definitely to support the players um, to an extent. You guys know what I'm saying. It won't be like the uh, the CL-13, the you know, the MiG-15, the the, the uh, F-86s. Okay, I'm gonna test a high G turn around here. Okay, we're we're maxing out at sea level at a thousand kilometers an hour, which I kind of expected. Here we go for a nice little hard turn up. We we have compressed. Flaps. Wow! Look at this baby go! Holy shit, guys. This thing is a turner, though. Wow. You see how it just, like, jolted forward with those flaps engaged? They didn't rip off. I was at, like, 930 kilometers an hour. Okay, we'll bring this baby into land. Now, I don't know how long the flaps could sustain at that um, airspeed, but they definitely held up uh, through, the, through the majority of the turn. Gear down. This thing gets super dirty. Look how dirty this aircraft is. Holy shit, we're going to increase throttle. I didn't know it could get that dirty. Wow. The thing, the thing has a nice flight model on landing. Very, very pushy up. A lot of lift generated from these, uh, from these flaps. Nice ground effect going on, and we're going to smack. That's all right. It has some skids on the uh, on the bottom of the rudders or the elevators or the stabilizers. Excuse me, guys, of my lack of knowledge. And to to uh, what I should have done when I landed is I should have retracted my flaps instantly to uh, cease ground effect and any kind of lift potential on my aircraft as well as my air brakes. But I, you know, I keep your air brakes on.